Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you how you can make an elevator that has multiple parts. So, first of all I'm gonna make a model, which I will call elevator. Inside of there I will put one main part, which I'm gonna call base. I've got to change this to custom and short. Yeah. So we now just make our own little elevator. For example, I don't know, 10, 24, 10. Oh, could be bigger. Like that. This would be our elevator place. Then now, if we want multiple parts, I can't just add it with we script it false, so we need to script it good. So I will just build a little elevator here. I will not make too much detail and make sure to only name your base, actually base, and delete wells if there are any, because we're gonna make custom wells. So I guess this should be fine. Next thing I will do is make a um, folder, I think. Uh, no, model. Let's make a model. A model. Which we will also call elevator. Elevate. Elevator. There. And put the other model with the elevator in there. And I'm just gonna copy the base. And paste it in there. And just for showcase, I'm gonna make this one green and Transparent can call by false. For you, you can just make it, or we make it with a script. That's also a thing we can do. So I'm gonna call this bottom. This will be the top. I'm just gonna color it. So the elevator will go from there to there. Next thing you also know we're gonna do with the script. So you can enter every part if you want to. So next thing we're gonna do is the script. Elevator script. For example, I don't know how you would call your script. And first thing we will do is uh I will just do a comment and call this about elevator. So what right now the problem is if we would technically now want to move this part up there with tweening for example, these parts will not flow. So we would need to weld them and enter them. So to do this with custom welds you could Use this per uh, in the toolbox, the weld script, this one, but I'm not going to use that since I don't like this script. So I'm going to make a custom one. So I'll just do <coughs> loop to children and the path. Our object will be elevator with the parts. This will be just child. Now what we're gonna do actually we will use loop to descendants. So if you maybe have models in there with other parts, we also weld them. So this would be better. Because loop to children would just get these parts, but if there would be now a part inside a part 
you would not get this part, and Descendancy would get this part here too. So, use this one with Descendants. Next thing is, we first check if we even have a part. Maybe if we have a decal or something or a mesh there, so we don't want to weld that. So we check if it's a base part. Base part is for normal parts, corner wedge parts, thrust parts, wedge parts, so not only part. You just insert part here, it would not work with wedge parts, thrust parts, or corner wedge parts. So we're just gonna call this part check. Then if the object is a part, so true, then another if if the child is not an object and object would be the base so we don't want to weld the base to the base because this makes no sense then we would do create object weld inside of the child just gonna call this weld now we're gonna do get up property child B frame we will call Z0 and we will get the base C frame it will be C1 and let's actually make a variable for base And connect this and just call to script of parent of base dot elevator elevate elevator dot base. Just gonna replace that with the base variable. This will be C1. Next thing we will use inverse. Input this D1, C0, and C0 will be the output. Same with D1. Then we will set object property of the weld. C frame 0 to C frame 0. And C frame 1 to C frame 1. And the part 0 will be the part of D0, so it should be the child in this case. So child and the other one would be the base. And after that we will just also just gonna do this here now of child and short to false. So what will happen now if we won? So oh, let me fix this thing there. So if we run, you will see nothing happens, but we see now we have here welds. These snaps are automatically because of these parts, but if we would now change the, the faces to smooth we would not have these snaps automatically so it wouldn't weld so with surfaces you could also weld but it's sometimes buggy but now if we unanswer this part we see it breaks because I am an idiot uh, let's fix this real quick yeah part one not zero so yeah that was an issue it should work now yeah now it's welded so we move this up it stays together if we would theoretically remove this weld now and this part is now basically free if we move it there so now we have a welded object. Next thing is the 
actually elevator. So what I'm gonna make us a new comment. Elevator main. And what we will do here is let's move this down a bit. And call this bottom. And top. So in this case, I'm going to make an automatic elevator that just goes up and down the whole time. You could do it with buttons if you know how. If not, you maybe have to find some solution. Maybe. Or I make another tutorial. I don't know. For a different elevator. But with the same model in this case. So what we will do now is a while loop. The first thing we want to do, so you could position the elevator now here, or you could just leave it like that if you want, I don't really care. And we will get the object property of bottom B frame. Not the position, this is important. Use not position in this case. And set the C and just do this to bottom C frame. Then we will set the object property of the base C frame to the bottom C frame. And if we would now just add a weight to the while loop so it doesn't crash, you would see. The elevator jumps to the queen part when starting playtest. So now what we will do is we actually can just keep, keep this weight here and say like the elevator should stay down here five seconds. Then what we will do is get the property top C frame uh, well we will use now tween object property in this case of the base C frame the value to a variable top C frame let's say it takes like 10 seconds to go up you can play around with the using style and stuff like that if you want just don't touch repeat count and reverse then we want to do the time that we inserted here for the weight. And then just to make really sure that at the top after the 10 seconds, we just will do to the top C frame. So now if we are at the top, we will make another wait five seconds. Then just so we actually, if the maybe the position of the bottom changes, we will get a new top position. Okay, I mean bottom C frame. Then we will tween the base to the bottom, bottom C frame. Wait again. Just copy this now, like that, and set this to the bottom C frame now, and this should be it. So we set, we get the bottom C frame, set it base of the elevator to the bottom, we wait five seconds, get the top C frame, tween to the top, wait 10 seconds, set them to the top C frame again, just to make sure we are really at the top. Then wait five seconds, get the bottom C frame, to be into the bottom C frame, wait, get, uh, set then to the bottom C, C frame again, wait five seconds, and then we just continue with this again. So, if we test this now.
we are at the bottom. Wait five seconds. We go up. Here we go. So we wait five seconds again. And we go down again. And we wait five seconds again. And we go up. So. Actually, this five seconds was too much. And we also don't need this actually. Like, just a little mistake by me. So. Between up, wait 10 seconds. If we are up, we just get the bottom, C uh, I mean down, we get the bottom C frame and set it to the and then wait to five seconds. Yeah. <laughs> just to make sure, we update the C frame here again. So now we'll add one addition. So just add, set up the property of top and this will be the like between these just gonna put that there and finish a little bit or something and now we just set top transparency to one and bottom also to one so these parts will turn invisible if we start playing now we can go in here there we go just make sure to not make the twinning too fast because else you could glitch out of the elevator and back maybe under the floor It's a little bit shaky, but I think it has to do with tweening. So what you can do now too, is if we rotate this part here, 180, and we just press 1, and then the elevator will actually turn. 180. And then turn back down. Now I turn it back. What we also can do, for whatever reason, if you want to do this, I don't know, let's do this. I don't know what you want to do with your elevator. But you can do this too, if you want. So, basically what this means, the elevator turns to this C frame of the bottom and top. And yeah, this is pretty much it. I will put the model ID of my elevator into the description so you can use it if you want. If you want to make a uh, elevator with buttons or something or with multiple parts where he goes to this would be maybe another tutorial or you find it yourself out like the questing system could be a bit more hard like a lot more scripting than just this little while loop here but could also work so thanks for watching and bye bye